Welcome to another Thrive Teams tutorial. I want to show you how to use Thrive Apprentice and Thrive Quiz Builder to create a setup that will only let the users or students who have passed a test or a quiz continue on with the next lessons, meaning that their lessons will be locked until they get a minimum score at the quiz. For example, this is my online school and I am currently at the fourth lesson of my first chapter. As you can see, all of these lessons are available but if I open up the second one, I can see that the lessons are locked. This is because on the fourth lesson of my first chapter, I have added a quiz, which you can see here at the end of the lesson. And my users, first of all, cannot mark the lesson as complete unless they take this test and get a minimum score. And secondly, they will not be able to access the next lessons until they pass this test. So it is very obvious that these lessons are locked and let's go ahead and quickly take this quiz for which I have only added three questions and all of the right answers are these ones. I did add an opt-in gate, but I'm going to skip it just to show you that as you can see, the first thing that happens once you pass the test or the quiz is that the mark lesson complete button will be enabled and as the students will have the possibility to mark the lesson as complete. So as I will do that, the page will reload and as you can see, the second chapter and all of the lessons are now available for me. I'm going to show you how you can achieve this. And for that, we're going to access the WordPress admin dashboard. Now, of course, this requires that you have already created your Tribe Apprentice quiz and added your content there. And I will not go through that process in this tutorial, as we do have a lot of tutorials dedicated to creating Tribe Apprentice lessons, courses and so on which are all available for you in our knowledge base. What I'm going to do now is access Tribe Apprentice and access my course. For that, I'm going to, of course, go to the courses section and this is the course we're going to work with. I'm going to open it. And of course, the quiz has also been created prior to me starting this tutorial in Tribe Quiz Builder. So now this is the course I'm going to work with. I'm going to go to its content section and open the lesson with my quiz. If you're not sure how to add a quiz to a lesson, let's quickly go ahead and take a look at that. So this is the lesson with the test. I'm going to hover over edit right here and click on edit content. This will open the tribe editor from where you have access to editing the content of the lesson. And you can add the quiz wherever you want and you can either use the quiz shortcode found in the tribe quiz builder dashboard or you can simply click on this plus sign Start typing quiz and simply drag and drop the element onto your lesson and then choose your desired quiz. These are the quizzes that you have created in Drive Quiz Builder. So if we choose this one, as you can see, the quiz will be added. Now, if you remember until we finished and passed the quiz or the test, this button was grayed out and it was not available for us to click on it. And then after taking the quiz with a certain score, the button had changed its color and we could use it to mark the lesson as complete. The reason why this happened is because with the quiz selected, the apprentice options from the left sidebar will let you control this mark as complete behavior. Now I'm going to remove this quiz as I was working with the other one and I'm going to show you on this one. So as you can see, if I select this quiz, we're going to see that I have enabled this option, which will control the behavior of the mark as complete button based on the results of the quiz. And as you can see, the button will become available if the user achieves this minimum score that I have set right here. So this is why the button was unavailable until we completed the quiz and we have also obtained a certain score. So now that you know how to add a quiz and how to control the mark as complete behavior based on the results of the student, you can go ahead and save this lesson and of course make any other modifications you want to it. And let's go back to the Tribe Apprentice dashboard. So we now have a quiz added to our lesson and the mark as complete button and behavior for that button has been set. Now let's go ahead and see how we can make sure that the next lessons are going to be locked until the user passes the test. We're going to have to create a drip schedule for that. And we will create one that will leave the lessons before the one with the test. So all of these ones, as well as this one, available for anyone. And the next lessons, so in my case, there are gonna be these three lessons, 
are going to only be available once someone passes this quiz. And again, this can be done by creating a drip schedule and setting specific unlock conditions. To create a drip schedule, I'm going to go to the drip tab right here. As you can see, I already have a drip schedule, but I'm going to remove it and show you how to create one from scratch. And to create a drip schedule, I'm going to click on this button and I'm going to start from scratch. The first thing you have to do from this pop-up is to enter the drip campaign name, choose what event should trigger it. In this case, I'm going to go for the user starts course one and choose a content unlock option. I'm going to go for the add custom intervals option because this one lets you create custom content dripping rules for each of your lessons. And this is exactly what I want to do. So I'm going to click on create my campaign. And as also mentioned in this tooltip, you can manually add drip unlock conditions to all of your lessons. Now, as I said, all of these lessons prior to the one with the test and also the one with the test are going to be unlocked for everyone. From this one forward, I want to set up unlock conditions. And if we click right here, we're going to open this pop-up that will let us set up unlock condition rules. I'm going to click on add new and click on this field and go for the Thrive Quiz Result option. Choose the quiz to be completed from here. In our case, it's this one. And you can choose when the content should be unlocked. Now, if you do not want the users to obtain a minimum score, you can simply go for the quiz completed option so that no matter their result in the quiz or the test, the content will be unlocked for the users right after they complete the quiz. However, in my case, I want the user to achieve a minimum score as this is a test. And then from here, you can choose the minimum score. Now, since this is a number quiz type, you can choose a numerical value here. But if the quiz would have been a category type, for example, you would have been able to unlock the content for the users that have been assigned a certain category upon them completing the quiz. All right, so once you've chosen this rule, you can click on add. And what you can also do is choose how the lesson that is still locked should be displayed in the lesson list element. So right here in the left sidebar, you can decide whether you want the locked lessons to be shown, to be hidden or to be shown as locked. And this can all be set up from this option. I'm going to leave this behavior as the inherited one, which is going to be displayed, meaning that the locked lessons will be shown in my lesson list element. And I'm going to click on save. And what happened now is that the first lesson of my second chapter is going to only be available for the people that achieve a certain score on my final test placed on this lesson. Since I want the same behavior to be applied to all of the lessons following this one, I'm going to do the same for these two other lessons as well. The drip campaign is now complete and that was everything we had to do here. Now we have created a drip schedule, but in order to be able to assign it to our course, we are going to have to add the course inside the Tribe Apprentice product so that we can access the drip schedule of the product and set everything up. Of course, you can do that from the product section here, or we can do it directly from the access restrictions section, because if we go ahead and access this tab, as we have not yet created a product based on this course, we're going to see this option here. Again, you can also go to the product section and create your first product and then add the course from here. So you can do it either way. Since we're here, let's go ahead and create the product right now. And let's start by naming it. And when you create a product in Tribe Apprentice, you can add one or multiple courses just like that. And you can also add other types of content as well if you want to do that. But we're going to just go for this course and click on done. And now we've been taken to the edit mode of this product. We're currently editing our newly created product that contains the course we have just set up. Now, if you take a look at the left sidebar, you're going to see the drip schedule and we can go ahead and access that. And this is where we will see which drip feed schedule has been assigned to our product. To apply the drip schedule that we've just created to this product, you can click on this field and all of the drip schedules that you have created for the courses inside this product will appear listed here. However, we only have one course inside the product that only has one drip schedule created. So 
this is the only one that we're gonna see and of course I'm going to choose it from this drop down. Since the product now has a drip schedule assigned to it, meaning that the content will only unlock for certain users, you can go ahead and also set up some access requirements for it. And you can do that from here, simply so that you make sure that people need to be logged in, for example, in order for them to access your course. And again, we do have a lot of tutorials explaining how to set up access requirements for Trev Apprentice product, but just really quickly, I'm going to show you how to require users to be logged in in order to access that course. And for that, you can go to the WordPress role section and choose subscriber here. And then of course, save everything. Now this was the last step and the setup is complete and the outcome will be the one that we've seen in the beginning of the tutorial. Let's go ahead and quickly test everything in incognito mode. So I have just accessed my lesson and if I scroll down, you can see that I have to be logged in to access this course. And this is because I've just set up the access requirements. So I'm going to log in as a subscriber. All right, so as I have just logged in, we can see that the first chapter is available for me, but if I access the second one, it's going to be locked. Let's go ahead and just take this quiz and let's go for two right answers and one wrong answer so that we get the minimum score. And again, skip the opt-in. I have achieved the following result and as you can see the behavior of this button works properly so the button was unavailable until I've achieved the minimum score and I'm gonna mark the lesson as complete, the page will reload and the next lessons will become available. And this concludes the tutorial, which I hope was useful to you. Of course, all of these settings and setups can be done in the way that best fits your website and your online school. Remember that you can always find lots of tutorials on Tribe Apprentice, Tribe Quiz Builder, or any other Tribe themes, plugins on our knowledge base and on our YouTube channel.